everybody. Uh, this is the last webinar of 2015, so we're glad you could join us. Uh, it is 11 o'clock now, so we're going to get started. Um, I am Sue Dengenis, the Director of Marketing for Synchro, uh, and you can always reach out to me if you ever have questions. Uh, today's webinar is being led by Jacqueline Chen, and it's part two of a, a webinar that she did a few weeks ago, uh, P6 XML Schedule Synchronization. Jacqueline is a VDC specialist in our Berkeley office. She has a master's degree in architecture, engineering, and construction from Carnegie Mellon. And she has a very strong scheduling and estimating background, so she's the perfect person to be presenting today. Uh, we may not, because it's quite a um, comprehensive topic, we might not have a lot of time for questions at the end. However, if you do have questions, please feel free to either email Jacqueline or I, and we will follow up with you by email or a call um, if we don't have time. So thanks again for joining us and uh, please look out for the new schedule in January when we resume our webinars. Uh, Jacqueline, you want to get started? Uh, yes, thank you, Sue. Hi everyone, I hope you will find our webinar today very informational and helpful for implementing 4D on your own projects. Today I want to go through a couple of basics about P6XML synchronization. P6XML and its import export synchronized from features have been added to Synchro in version 5.1. So what exactly is the definition of synchronization function in Synchro? A synchronization function requires that data has previously been exchanged with the Primavera project. So synchronization from Primavera P6 can be accomplished in two ways in Synchro right now. So you can synchronize from a P6 file. The P6, X, uh, the P6 XML file, you can synchronize from a P6 XML file. The P6 XML file can be exported from it, uh, any P6 database by anyone with access to P6. Synchro and P6 do not have to be installed on the same computer. No P6 API installation is necessary. If the schedule is updated in P6, the P6 user should export a new P6 SML file, then the Synchro user should use the external data synchronized from command to bring the changes into Synchro. Also, the second synchronization from uh, Primavera P6 can be accomplished via uh, the P6 API connection. So prior to version 5.1, Synchro already supported and still supports synchronized from directly from the P6 database via an API connection. The Synchro user must have the API installed and configured locally and be able to access P6 either locally or via a remote connection. The user must have proper permissions to import P6 data. If the schedule is updated in P6, simply use the external data synchronized from command to connect to the P6 database and bring those changes into Synchro. So you can always draft your schedule in Synchro Pro or Synchro Scheduler. And Synchro Scheduler is currently available for free. Uh, you can download it from our website. It's a scheduling tool that has full scheduling capabilities and can be used in lieu of other scheduling software. So for demonstration purpose today, we're, uh, for demonstration purpose of P6 XML synchronization today, we are assuming the following workflow. So first, the P6 user exported his schedule from P6 in P6 XML file format. Let's assume the export has been uh, finished. And then he passed this P6 XML file to the Synchro user. The Synchro user is now going to import the P6 XML schedule into Synchro by going to File, Import, P6, Choose File, and then browse to the folder, choose the file provided by the P6 user, and then hit Next. On Make sure the options are correct, and then uh, choose Import. After this import is successfully done, we can find a navigator, external data, underneath Primavera, the source project, the source schedule file, can be, uh, has been listed here. If you right-click on the file, you will be able to see synchronized from is no longer grayed out. 
synchronized from feature uh, can be used because data exchange has happened between Synchro and the P6XML file provided by the P6 scheduler. Now the Synchro user plans to prepare his 40 uh, model in Synchro. By assigning the five created resources to tasks, so what uh, he's going to do is that he will simply drag and drop those resource, resources to the tasks. Okay, so the resource assignments um, have been done. So if we use the playback feature in Synchro, we, can, we will be able to tell from the, uh, based on the current schedule provided by the P6 user, the concrete crew is going to start uh, placing um, concrete foundations in area one and then move to area two, three, four, and finish their work in area five. So let's assume later on in the coordination meeting, the, synchro, uh, the P6 user um, is the P6 user is requested to make the following changes to his schedule in P6. So you're seeing the updated schedule in P6 right now. So the following changes have been made. Work area, uh, working area 1 and 5 are now concurrent. This is work for area 1 and then this is the task for area 5. And then also the original task 4 has been deleted and then he also added a new task. Uh, which is task six for area four with a different ta with, with a different task ID, which is A1000. Then he does the same and then he does the same thing. He export the um, updated schedule into a P6 XML file format and then pass this file to the synchro user. This is the updated P6 XML file. And then the Synchro user is now ready to um, use the feature synchronized from. In Navigator External Data, underneath Primavera, select the right source project and then choose Synchronize From to bring the updated P6 XML file and the updated schedule into Synchro. So before, he proceed, before the Synchro uh, user proceeds and then hit the scheduler button, uh, hit the synchronize button, he wants to go through, he wants to understand the synchronization options available in Synchro. In general, there are four synchronization options in Synchro. They are skip, synchronize, consolidate, and integrate. So I am planning to use this infographic created by my coworker Kate Hester to explain more about, about those four options. So skip. The first option is skip. Uh, by choosing skip, the associated attributes will not be modified or updated in Synchro. The second option is synchronize. By using synchronize, the associated attributes will, uh, will be synchronized according to the following rule. Attributes added, deleted, or modified in the source project will be added, deleted, or modified in the target project. In other words, by using the option synchronize, the source project will completely replace the attributes in the target project in Synchro. So it will cause data loss if you have brought multiple source projects into Synchro, or if you have added project attributes in Synchro, such as tasks, calendars, resource assignments, etc. The third synchronization option is consolidate. Consolidate is similar to synchronize, and the consolidate option ensures that the attributes within the projects are not going to be deleted. That is to say, if any attributes are deleted in the source project in P6, it will still be maintained or remaining intact in the target project in Synchro. The fourth option is integrate. Integrate is identical to synchronize. The integrate option ensures that the associated attributes will be synchronized according to the same rules of synchronization. However, compared uh, with synchronize, compare with the synchronize option, the changes are targeted only for the data belonging to the selected target project. Data added to the target project from other source project will be left unchanged. So let's go back to Synchro. 
So now we can see we can probably skip all these options. They are not they were not originally brought into Synchro, and then they they are not even contained in the um, P6 XML schedule in the P6 schedule. Uh, we can use synchronize for most of the attributes here because we want to uh, make sure the uh, the changes are uh, will be brought into synchro while we want also want to maintain the resource assignments as much as we can as long as the task is not deleted right and then we also want to keep visualization work we already know from the P6 scheduler that in the P6 schedule, he only added and deleted attributes such as tasks and links. So we can skip some other options that don't apply here, which are task constraints, costs, right? And then at the same time, we realize that uh, we realize that there are only two options, which are skip and cost consolidate for calendars and resources. That is because consolidate is the default choice for P6 global attributes, which include calendars, resources, uh, risks, and activity codes. By using consolidate, uh, which is similar to synchronization, um, it's going to bring in all the changes except that attributes in the synchro would not be deleted. For resource assignment, for resource assignments attribute here, we can keep the default option integrate, but there will be no difference uh, if we choose consolidate. That is because first, we have only one source project. Two, no changes have been made to resource assignments in the source project in P6, and only material uh, resources have been created and assigned to task in synchro. So there will be no difference if we choose either consolidate or integrate. Okay, before I hit synchronize, right, I want to cancel and then save this file as demo schedule before and then open another window here to compare the difference after I will save this file as demo schedule after and then quickly sh show you the synchronization result. And then I hit next and then I skip some of the options that I don't really need. Task constraints. Okay, let's say this is the right options right now. So let's hit synchronize. So are you able to guess what you're going to see based on your understanding of synchronization and the options? Here is my guess, right? We can pretty much view the result by using playback. Right now, you can see uh, in the updated um, synchro file, task one and five are happening concurrently, right? This is uh, this matches the, our schedule update in the P6 uh, by the done by the P6 user, and then moves to working error two, three. And then, however, we are able to tell that three assign, um, assign, resource assignments to the original task four has been lost. That is because the, ta the, the original task four has been deleted. Also, you will be able to see the new task, which is task six for error four, has been successfully added and imported, synchronized into Synchro. And then that, has, that task has a different ID. Okay, since we are running out of the time, I think uh, this is pretty much what we are going to, uh, what we are presenting today. So you can always play with those synchronized uh, from um, options. And then just do one more thing before we end. You can choose this file and then choose a different um, option, which is, a consult which is consolidate to compare the difference here. 
and then hit synchronize. So basically consolidate keeps the deleted task in length and then the resource assignment is to task for uh, was not lost because the, ta the task for is still there. It's consolidated in synchro. Okay, so this is pretty much what we have for you guys today. Uh, please feel free to reach out to us either through the support button on our website or um, send us emails. Thank you. Thank you, Jacqueline.